Hi, Tom here and welcome to my new Circle Line Art School video. How to draw a modern house in two-point perspective. Please subscribe for a new video every Saturday. Start by drawing a horizontal line slightly below the middle of your paper. This is the horizon line, which is the height of the eye of the viewer. It's the same height as the eye of the person looking at the view. Next, we can draw a vanishing point, a dot, on the far left and the far right of this horizontal line. In two-point perspective, all of the parallel lines going left will meet at the left vanishing point, and all of the parallel lines that go right will meet at the right vanishing point. Next, draw a vertical line a little bit left of the centre of your page. This will be the nearest corner of our building. Now we can draw a diagonal line from the top of this vertical line to the right vanishing point and another to the left vanishing point. Next, draw two more diagonal lines from the base of our vertical line. So now we have the left and right side of our building. We can add a vertical line to the left to show where the building stops and another vertical line to the right. All vertical lines in this drawing need to be parallel to each other and parallel to the edge of the paper. To draw a floating flat roof, we need two more diagonal lines going to the right vanishing point. And we can take these two lines to the left vanishing point too. And now we can just mark a small vertical line on the left and the right of these new diagonal lines to show where the edge of the roof is. Next, from this point on the left, we can draw a diagonal line all of the way to the right vanishing point, but we only need the first part of the line just here. So again, from this point, we can draw a diagonal line to the left vanishing point, but we only need to use the first bit of the line for our drawing. So now we have drawn the back of this floating roof at the top of our building. Next we can draw two more diagonal lines to the right and left vanishing points. Now where the left diagonal line touches the left horizontal line, we can draw from that point a diagonal line to the right. On the right diagonal line, we can draw a short vertical line here. Next, from the left vanishing point, we can draw a diagonal from the top of this short vertical line going right for a bit. And now draw another vertical line going down below the base of the original building. Going back to our short vertical line, we can draw a diagonal from its base going to the left vanishing point. But we only need this line to this point here. I will darken these lines so that we can see what we have drawn. We now have an overhang on the left and an extension on the right. I will darken this vertical line too. Next, draw another vertical line from the back of the house here. And now we can make a new baseline by drawing a diagonal line from the left vanishing point. Again, let's darken the line so that we can see what we have. Now draw a diagonal line from the top and the bottom of this new horizontal line to the vanishing point on the right for the right hand side of the extension. Next we can draw a vertical line here for the right hand side of the building. I think it's time to darken these lines. For this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil. So now our drawing is starting to take shape, we can clearly see how the two vanishing points help us find the sides of the walls of the building. If you think about two-point perspective drawing and using the two points, the two vanishing points, and that's how you create the guidelines, and along those guidelines, these diagonal lines going to the two vanishing points, they will show us where the sides of any building will go to. So we could just erase some of the guidelines that we no longer need. Now on the right, we can add some lines to create a border thickness to this wall.
and by drawing two diagonal lines to the left vanishing point, we can find the back of the wall. I will use this vertical line to work out where the back corner of this back part of the wall is. Just draw a diagonal from the right vanishing point through the top of this vertical line and a line for the base here, again going to the right vanishing point. Time to make some of these lines darker again so that we can see what we have. We can repeat this interior space on the left hand side of the building. This time the diagonal lines will go to the left vanishing point rather than the right. I have used the left base vertical line to find the back vertical line of this new space, just so the building looks the way I would like it to look. Again, it's a good idea to just darken the lines once we know they're in the right place. I will add some windows or sliding doors to the left wall here using the left vanishing point. As I divide this shape, the vertical lines will get closer together as they go towards the vanishing point. We can add some more windows and doors, keeping all the vertical lines parallel to each other and to the side edge of our paper. And in this two-point perspective drawing, all of the diagonal lines go either to the left or right vanishing point. Next, I'll add some tone to this drawing. All of the overhanging shapes will be dark. All shapes on the left of the side of the building will be a mid-tone, and the shapes on the right-hand side of each part of the building will be just the white of the paper. So we'll have three tones, the white of the paper, a mid-tone, and a dark tone. And so the next stage of this drawing is just to add some tone, the three tones that we just outlined, the white of the paper, a mid-tone and a dark tone. I think I'll also add another building on the left-hand side using the same principles of two-point perspective. I post a new drawing every Saturday. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to see all of my videos. There are now over 250 videos to see and a new one every Saturday.
Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful for your own drawings. And please leave a comment and click to subscribe to my channel, Circle Line Art School. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.